we need an answer choice that would weaken Holdo's response. See, the first company here says that Holdo has come up with a very similar product and they have even used a similar box and therefore many customers who are intending to buy products of the first company are likely to mistakenly buy the products of Holdo. To this, Holdo has replied by suggesting that the two boxes can be easily distinguished and the company has mentioned a difference in the color of handles. And now we need an answer choice that weakens Holdo's assertion. If black is the color of the handles for many toys made by Holdo, it means that Holdo products may be perceived by black handles and this answer choice, if anything, strengthens and does not weaken Holdo's assertion. Comparison of how prominently the logos are placed, the logos are displayed in advertisements is out of the scope of the argument. The argument is about similarity in the boxes for similar products. What is displayed in the advertisements is not going to have any bearing on the argument here. By suggesting that Holdo's boxes are observably bigger than Bandom Toys boxes, answer choice D highlights a difference and not similarity in the two boxes. So this answer choice is going to strengthen and not weaken Holdo's assertion. If many popular roller skates are sold in boxes of a standard design, it would mean that customers understand similarity in design and they inquire the brand before purchasing a product. And therefore, answer choice E as well, if anything, strengthens and does not weaken Holdo's assertion. Let's confirm answer choice B now. Choice B suggests that it is common for buyers to buy a toy on the basis of a general impression of the most obvious feature of the packaging. So if buyers buy toys on the basis of a general impression, they may not notice the difference in the color of handles. And therefore, answer choice B weakens Holdo's response. B is the correct answer choice.